Okay, so we tried to go to that cafe and we should have made a reservation because it was full. We didn't think it was going to be that popular, but apparently it is. So we ended up going to this place called Milky Way and it was really good. Yay! <laughs> Oh, and now we're gonna probably go to Closet Child and window shop. At least I'm gonna window shop because I shouldn't spend money right now. Unless there's something super awesome. Hopefully exactly. there's not. <laughs> Royal milk tea float, and I forget what mine was. Strawberry. <laughs> Strawberry something. Strawberry Ole yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something. There's smoke coming out of it. Can I catch it? Can I touch it? Whoa. Ah! What? That's so neat. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. All I've noticed are there's lots more bugs here and I saw Belk, which is like the grocery store that I went to a lot in Kamagaya. So I guess it's just a Saitama thing. I haven't seen it in like forever. But yeah. All these spiders. And the ceiling's really low. Uh, okay, exit this way. This is kind of creepy. It's so quiet. Where am I going? Oh no, more seal. Okay, it's really dark. My phone battery is at 5%. It's like a 11 minute walk to the hotel. And there's nothing. There is nobody. It's quiet. Um, it's a little bit scary. I hear drums in the distance like there's a festival or something though. Slightly tempted to follow the drums, but I don't want to die tonight. I need to find where I can charge my phone. <laughs> Is this a road for people? I guess so. There's this tiny little road right along the train tracks. Uh, you can't see anything. This is kind of creepy. I'm kind of wishing I came here a little earlier and did come with somebody and my battery's at 2%. Oh my gosh, this is scary, kinda. I'm glad I'm vlogging, it makes me feel less alone right now. Okay, I made it to the road where the hotel is. It's more like an actual road now. Um, there's like two other people I can see, so I'm not totally alone now. Oh, there's a river. Ooh. It's kinda light here. Um, so I think I'm going to be okay even if my battery dies because it's kind of a big famous hotel. Well, I don't know if it's big but it's kind of well known or I don't even know if it's well known. I just saw lots of signs for it so. Found it! My battery's at 1%! Yay! Yay! Now how do I get inside? I want to see somebody I know. I feel like such a weirdo with my camera wearing like a Lolita dress in the middle of nowhere. Where? How do I get in here? I don't think this is right. I'm gonna try going around the other way. There's like a fence. I can see it. I know I'm in the right place. But how do I get inside? Uh, my camera battery is about to die too, but I have a replacement for that one. <laughs> At least there is one Colmini nearby. That's good. Maybe it is around this way. This way looks a little bit brighter. Oh yeah, this looks more promising. Okay, I think I figured it out. Just follow the light. Apparently, if I shove this stick in this hole, it makes lights turn on. Like this. Oh, whoa, that's Magic. cool. Thank you. Okay. 
I'm alive! I made it! Here we are! I look ridiculous! Um, I found some people I know. They're gonna go to an izakaya to get food and then go back to the onsen later. So I guess I'm gonna join them even though I kind of want to just go to the onsen. But, um, I should charge my phone. I'm gonna go. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so here's the onsen area entrance. We're gonna go get some food or something and then come back here. Then here's the entrance to the place. And yeah, it's really wet and sticky. Okay, I just got back from the onsen like as soon as I got here. Um, we went to the kombini because the izakaya was like closing really soon and got some snacks. And then I just like scarfed down an onigiri and went straight for the onsen. And oh, it was so nice. Um, the lady who works at the front desk is like super duper sweet. Um, <clears throat> and one of the people, one of my coworkers has a tattoo and he didn't cover it when he went to the onsen. So she like came and like she told us when we were going like really nicely like I saw that he has a tattoo and like as she'll keep it a secret as long as he covers it next time. So for the most part in all of my experiences in Japan, they don't really care if you have a tattoo but since it's like the rule, if a customer were to see it and complain, they have to say that. So just be careful and cover your tattoos. That's why I always cover mine just to be safe because I did get kicked out once just because I was curious if I could get away with it or not, but you can't unless it is a tattoo friendly onsen, which there are some. But yeah, this place is nice. The lady who works at the, uh, the, the, lady who works at the desk is super sweet and I might try to go out and be more social with my coworkers. But yeah, this place is amazing. I love it. I guess I'm going to try and put on this yukata here now. See what it looks like. Here's the yukata. I don't know if I put this on the right way, but I don't really care that much because I'm just in my hotel room now. But yeah. Oh, it's really pulley. Where? Really pulley. Butterfly. Really pulley. <laughs> of the workshop thing I'm doing for work is over. Well, the work portion of it. And so I think we're gonna go, some of us are gonna go to a craft beer place nearby. And then I'm probably gonna chill at the onsen some more. Um, and yeah, I don't know what else we're gonna do. Uh, yeah. Craft beer! actually currently editing my Ogawa Machi videos and I realized I just kind of stopped recording in a weird place. Uh, well, first of all, I wasn't sure if I was really going to vlog a whole lot of it anyway, but if I found cool things I wanted to show them to you because it was like a work-related thing. Um, but yeah, so I'll just talk about the rest of it because it was so much fun. It was a really good experience. It's actually like weeks after it happened. Almost a month. <laughs> But yeah, I have a lot of videos I'm working on. But yeah, anyway, so the next day I ended up going with my other co-worker who has a friend who lives nearby. Um, they invited me to their house. And this house is not just like a normal house. He like built it. Or no, he bought an old house and built it. And apparently, I like, I don't even know how this guy did it, but it's amazing. Um, I didn't record because I, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to be more in the moment, number one. 
Number two, it's somebody's house. So actually, I think they have um, had like an open house thing before to show it to the public. But I was just there to relax and chill and have fun. I can't believe he made that house and it's like up in the mountains. There was nature and it was beautiful. And yeah, I got to meet his family and it was really nice. And I got to speak a lot of Japanese. And yeah, anyway, so I want to tell you a funny story that happened when I was there. So there's this kind of centipede in Japan. They're really big and they're black and they have like reddish orange legs. And if they bite you, they're venomous, poisonous. I don't remember which word is the correct one to use in that situation where if something bites you, it has poison stuff in it. But anyway, um, they are that. I don't think, usually you won't die if they bite you, but you could have to go to the hospital. And especially if it bites you on the neck or the head or the face, then you should go to the hospital because it could be dangerous. But anyway, let me just remind you, we are up in the mountains, like a long drive up a really curvy road in the middle of nowhere. Um, there's no phone service there or anything, which is totally fine because I'm like, I'm wanting to be in the moment talking to people. We're drinking some awamori, which is really strong alcohol from Okinawa, actually, and having like really good chats and stuff. But, um... So yeah, I'm like laying on the floor because they have like a low table the at the ceiling and we're talking. And he has four kids and they're like just starting to go to bed and upstairs is like all open. Like you can see the to the upstairs. It's like a kind of loft-ish thing. And so something like smacks on my glasses like that. Like I hear that kind of sound. And I thought there there was a baby that was upstairs and she was like peeking out like playing peekaboo with us earlier so i thought that she like came back out because they're trying to put them to bed but i thought she came back out and like threw something off and it hit me in the glasses i was like oh what was that and i sit up and then everyone is like trying like i see bleh, i can't even tell the story it was so crazy but um yeah that centipede that i was just telling you about starts it's like scurrying near me away from me i'm like oh where did that come from and everyone's like oh trying to kill it because they know they're dangerous and um that's what fell on my glasses i literally it <laughs> even thinking about it now i'm like oh because i don't really have a big problem with bugs i think bugs are really interesting um if I see a cool spider, I'm not going to, like, freak out and squeal. I mean, if it's on me, I'm not going to be comfortable. But I can, like, touch bugs if they're not going to kill you. And I, like, take pictures of bugs a lot. And I can get near them. And I can catch them and let them outside. I don't like to kill them. But I'm not that comfortable. It was on my face. It Okay, so if I wasn't wearing glasses, I might not be alive right now, first of all. Second of all, I would most likely, even if I was alive, I would be blind. Um, if that thing bit me in the eye, I would definitely go blind. I'd have to probably have my eye removed. Oh my gosh. I'm a lot calmer than after it happened. When I first was thinking about it after it was happened, like right after it happened, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened. But yeah, anyway, so <laughs> this is just a story about how a giant centipede fell on my face. And my glasses, these glasses right here, saved my life. And I'm just glad. I mean, it's a fun story to tell now. But when I really think about it, it's really scary. The chance that I could have, like, I don't know, <laughs> died. So that happened. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> and scary. But exciting. And I met a lot of really good people. And yeah, then the next day was the last day of the workshop. It went really well. The kids we were working with were so smart and like they nailed it. They were great. I loved watching them perform. They did so good of a job. Um, it, then yeah, the workshop was over and we all went back to Tokyo with all of our great stories. But yeah. I guess I'm going to end this video now, and yeah, it was. I really liked that I had the chance to see a part of Japan that I'd never get to see otherwise. I don't know, I really like 
seeing those places that you don't know anything about and then finding all the like hidden treasures and showing them to you guys so anyway i really like to show you places that no one knows about that are not interesting that are not well known and i want to show more of that so yeah anyway if you like this video um like and subscribe and i'll see you next time